We got to the Vivanco winery and <laughs> it's bigger than the town that we're staying in. Yeah. It was By a long way. It's huge. Massive. Fourth generation winemakers. Yeah. So it didn't take them long. As soon as we arrived, they put us to work. Straight into the vines. How good was it? Oh, it wasn't really working. Mate, it was so cool. I'd never done a little harvest before. Mate, does it get any better than this? It actually feels like we're in a movie set. I didn't think you were going to be able to speak. I wasn't for a while. That grape was really, really good. <laughs> We gotta get back to work because we do actually have to work for our lunch. We've just picked a couple of baskets of grapes and we're gonna do something that I've wanted to do for a long, long time. We're going old school. Whoa! <laughs> How cool does that feel? I don't know about cool. I was a bit iffy about it because I hate people playing with my feet. And I could just feel like a thousand grapes playing with my feet. So good. But my god, you got in and it was the best foot mass I've ever. You want to get out? No. We've been told that if two men were stomping grapes, this is the traditional way of doing it. You hold each other up like this and go to town. I don't know if this is weird or not, but I've got a sudden sensation I want to taste it. Mate, it's not weird at all. We're not weird. Oh! Oh! How good's that? Mate, freeze that, and it's like the ultimate popsicle. Which one, mate? Oh! <laughs> Get out. I want to actually see the wine. We're at a restaurant on the vineyard which is dedicated to eating the grapes with wine. Benny's in the kitchen where he should be. The first course is about to come up. I am so keen. I've seen what's happened for the first course. Giant shot from the north of Spain. It's been pan fried and roasted for a couple of minutes. And they've been put together with a little caviar. We've got a salmon caviar and a lemon lime caviar. A few battens of apple on top and that's it. So a really simple start. What's going to be a great menu. Here you go, mate. Hey, uh, what have we got here, mate? Mate, I've never smelt a scallop like that. The, nice the aroma coming off that is unbelievable. Mate, that caviar just takes it to a new level. The little lemon and lime caviar so good. is exactly what it needs. It's Scallops are sweet, yeah. so you need that acidity to break through it. How good was that lunch? The pairing of the wine with the food yep. was special. It was yep. outstanding. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. More yeah. yeah, more yeah. Octopus. These aren't the babies, these are the real deal. I've been waiting to try this one for a long time. I think it's been twice cooked, so it's gonna be nice and tender. <laughs> the smell of that is ridiculous. Perfect. <laughs> Dish of the day right here, brother. Okay, here we go. Oh, mate. So what are we drinking with it? Pamela Rosé number. Rosé? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm really looking forward to recreating that octopus yeah. dish. Yep. Putting my own little spin on that, because that was stunning. Yep. And even more stunning when you had a sip. Yeah. That's bloody fantastic. It's all about texture. Really dense, a really light foam and the samphire gives it all the salt that it needs. I'm looking forward to having the rosé with it because I know it's going to be nice and fruity and balance out the saltiness of this. Mate, that's neck level. Oh. I'm in heaven. Chef. Hello. So I spend most of the meal looking forward to the dessert, so I'm really interested to see how this one's going to come up. Peeled, just a, a normal pear. Throwing that in, a stick of cinnamon, a full bottle of that wine, some of the peel of an orange, some of the peel of a lemon, a couple of tablespoons of sugar, some cloves. So one hour that's going to tick away there, and I guess I would imagine you would keep moving and turning it over, and you end up with a poached pear at the end. So these are the pears after an hour, they've been poaching and then cooled. 
Now I've got a little grenada which goes next to the pear. And it's the, the syrup that we cook the pear in. You bring it down, add a little bit more sugar and then freeze it and you end up with this beautiful little grenada. Dessert. Mate, what's going on? Oh. Mate, I don't think I've ever said this, but I'm most looking forward to this. And it's bizarre hearing you say that you're looking yeah. forward to dessert. This. What have we got there? Wowzers. They picked this really late. Those Lots grapes that we had today, they'd be even more sugared up and sweet. Oh yeah. All oh, that pears off tap. Solid eating. <laughs> yeah, you wonder why I like dessert. Dish of the day. When you say the highlight of a dish was a dessert, you know it's a very good dessert. Because it was fresh. Yeah. There was there was three different ways of incorporating the wine, wine which yep. I saw it was good. We've had some amazing courses matched with brilliant wine. If you've ever wondered why people pair food with wine, you now know why. We have had an amazing day. I think it's going to get better. We wanted through a museum which has 6,000 square metres of wine, paraphernalia, history. artifacts, history, yeah. the works. We had a 3,000 year old wine jug. Massive manual wine presses. A huge corkscrew collection. A working barrel room. I think even a painting by some guy named Picasso. Who? Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that a Picasso? No. We've had one of the best days I've ever had in my life. Um, I'm glad I'm sharing it with you. If it gets better, I'll be surprised. So glad you won MasterChef. Cheers, brother. Hey, it's Andy. Here's an idea. Subscribe to my channel, watch my vids, cook my food, and repeat.